Welcome to a new edition of the $125,000 Bojangles Pro-Am Team Tournament Trail. The bass tournament that allows a weekend angler to share in the limelight previously only enjoyed by the pros. Follow us as we travel around North Carolina as weekend anglers compete in a tournament with two levels of competition with a guaranteed $4,000 first place prize. Join us as we travel to Lake Gaston at Roanoke Rapids, Sutton Lake at Wilmington, Chowan River at Edenton, Noose Trent at Newburn, Carl Lake at Flemingtown, and Roanoke River at Plymouth. Watch us each week with exciting weigh-in, fishing, and awards action as anglers compete for one of the limited slots in the prestigious Bojangles Classic. Today's show is brought to you by our proud sponsors, Bojangles Famous Chicken and Biscuits, the new sports shop, your outdoor sportsman headquarters, Shimano Fishing, North America's leading manufacturer of high-quality fishing gear, Mercury Marine, number one on the water, and Triton Boats, we take American fishing. Now let's go to our host, Danny Joe Humphrey, to see where today's tournament will be. Well, they finally opened up the new trend at Newburn ramp so we could have our tournament. Everything's been delayed, as you expect. But it's going to be a good day. The only problem is, if hot weather makes the fish bite, they're going to be jumping in the boat today. It's about 106 heat index, and we're in this parking lot, and it is brutal, brutal, brutal. But I know they'll catch some fish. Once you stay tuned, we'll be right back with today's weigh-in. It's bow time. Dad, we're hungry. Yep, to the grill. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of scratch-made chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop, we've got the gear. In Kinston and Cedar Point. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Introducing the most advanced, efficient predator on the water today Triton's new XS series. Stalk your prey with hot new features like a solid state fuseless stash with push button start and support for 10 inch depth finders and new bow control with support for 8 inch depth finders. Prowl the deep with our most advanced drivability, maximum comfort and an incredible hole shot. The new XS by Triton. Fourteen sixty nine. Fifteen fifty. Oh, my God. Fifteen fifty seven. Fifteen fifty seven. Four. 
482. Big fish, three sixty, three sixty. Fifteen twenty six. So eight on big fish. Sixteen seventy four. Big, what's big fish? Six thirty three. Thirteen, thirteen seventy one. Remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New Sports Shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point.
It's bow time. Dad, we're hungry. Yep, to the grill. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of scratch-made chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Right. Well, they'll stay under this bridge, just like they do at every bridge in the world. Caught you off guard, didn't he? Hmm? How much lines you have out on your rib? Oh, not much. I put it down. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That was pretty cool. That was Especially funny. Part. Yep. That was, I don't know how you managed to react that quick. <laughs> That's kind of a compromising situation. That's funny. I don't. I don't care what you say. That's funny. That's what you call it, short, short line him, right? Is that what you call it? And if I'd have been in a tournament, we'd have put a tournament catch and take about two seconds. He'd have been, he'd have been in my lap, wouldn't he? That's Same way, same way with a floating worm, yeah, you know? Yeah. If it gets twisted, they don't like it. Nope. It doesn't have that, that natural look. First one got it, I think. Yeah, I got it. Good thing somebody was paying attention. The fisherman mm -hmm. wasn't. The cameraman always sees more than <laughs> Sounds about right. Ford Brantley. And you're worried about the one on the line, worried about where the next one's going to be from. <laughs> He's a beauty. Oh yeah. Thank you, Lord. Let me see that rascal there. All right. That's what you go fishing for right there, isn't That's it? That's right. Good three and a half pounder. Yeah, I appreciate my, my friend telling me that I hit the wrong. <laughs> well, I, I'm used to doing that. When Boo and I used to fish, I used to have to tell him he had a bite on his top water bait. That's what I used to kid him about. It's really tough to catch a catch your fish in somebody else's. Good job there, Brantley. Thank you, sir. Good assist there, DJ. <laughs> Way to work. 
team effort. Yeah. I saw that one. He's coming right at Damn it. Ooh. Will he get off? Yeah, I was about to break my rod over. Ah, turn. Don't worry about that. He jumps between me and you. I won't see him anyway. I can't see him because somebody's back's in my way. Yeah. See the ripples. Don't, don't let him don't let him get hung up. You just catch him. Uh oh. Poor enough we ain't gotta go rope now. I hope he's on good. Well, you got, you got fish. You got fish. You got rod. You got lures. You got everything. <laughs> I, got right. I told you I shouldn't be fishing. You want me to fish? I said I don't need to be fishing. I'm supposed to be filming. And that's a nice one there. Yep, that is a nice. One. That's that. That really is a nice bass. Anywhere you go, that's a nice bass. I don't care where you at. Yep. And that day, that bass has seen probably five pounds in the spring. Good job there, Brantley. Thank you, sir. The secret lure. It, it, it worked. It paid off, didn't it? Yes, it did. Danny Joe, this is a bait that uh, I have found that in this particular lake just works phenomenally more than anything else that I've ever fished out here. I've caught a lot of fish over the years. It's a, it's a jerk bait uh, made by Big Bite Baits. Uh, fish it with a five alt wide gap hook to rig this so it's uh, you can fish it in all types of heavy structure uh, you can make it virtually weedless you put the your hook into the nose of the minnow take it in about a half inch go in and turn it around pull the eye of the hook back in the bait and then you want to make sure that you've got the the hook going back through the bait so the bait hangs straight if you get a kink in it like that it'll roll over and over so you have to and if it rolls they don't bite they it they don't any. bite it it's got to look natural what you want when you're finished is it for the to be just like that there is a little groove in the back of the the minnow so it can you can bring it right through weeds and grass this particular color uh, works well in this lake well sometimes it's that's what you, you learn you learn from what works and that's all there is to it Yep. Well, I appreciate you sharing that with us. What kind of line do you use, Phil? This is a uh, 15 pound power pro uh -huh. bra uh, braid. Braid. Mm -hmm. And that helps with the hook set too, doesn't it? It, it, it doesn't stretch. Right. <laughs> it doesn't stretch. And it also uh, is it, it's virtually invisible. You know, I know a lot of guys use some of the, the monos and the other fire lines and whatnot. As small as this is, in the tannic acid water we have in this part of the country, right. uh, it's virtually invisible. Well, that's a good tip. Thank you for sharing that. You're more than welcome. Let's catch some fish. All right. <laughs> well, it's been a lovely day. Fish uh, didn't bite quite like you wanted them to, but no, it was it was a good day with my friend. Yep, that's the main thing. We had a good time. Yep. Good deal. Thank Thanks. you for thank you for sharing it with us. Uh, Thanks for taking it. Just another memory. <laughs> it's bow time. Dad, we're hungry. Yep, to the grill. Oh, no, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of scratch made chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Do you remember that show you watched last year? What about that social media post last week? Didn't think so. Out here, moments turn into memories that we never forget. Every chance I get, I get out here. <laughs> New sports shop. We've got the gear in Kinston and Cedar Point. All right. We got these boys weighed in today. We're down here at Newburn, and 
the fishing was was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. Had a real good first place weight. My first teams we're going to honor are the AM division. I think y'all the new team come up here. Colby and Kevin Jones. Where are y'all from? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. We got you. You got your 1098 was your weight. Got you a check for third. You got your third place bragging rights. Congratulations to Thank you. you. Thank you, boys. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Second place. Come on up here. Kenny and Crystal Murphy. I mean, Mercer. Excuse me for that. Y'all had 1182 today. Got you a check for $190. Get that to her. <laughs> She's going to get it anyway. Got you second place bragging rights. And we're certainly proud of y'all. Let's hear it for them. We're proud of you. We're proud of you. Thank you. And our champions today in the AM division, Gary Butner and Kenny Simpson. They had 1526 today, which is a good weight. Got your first place bragging rights right here. And we've got your first place check for 350 bucks. How about that? Good job. And they had the big fish today, 360. Ninety dollars. We had eighteen boats today. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. Our first award today in our pro division is the big fish of today. Y'all come on up here, Brian and Kimberly Boyd. You had a six thirty-three. I want to know who caught it. You did. I did it. Oh, and she netted it. Which is the most important? That's right. You got him in the boat. Y'all did a good job today. At least the first time you fished with me. I'm not sure about that. But 633 was a big fish. Got your check for $670. What do you think about that? That'd be some money to spend on it. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Dennis Langston and Andra Willis. Y'all had 1402. Got you a check here for $210. Congratulations to you both, okay? Thank you so much. Did a good job. Ninth place, the old standbys, Jason and Tice. Jason and Chase Tice, excuse me. 1469 was your weight. It's a good weight. Got you a check for 260, boys. And we're proud of you. Proud of you very much. Uh -huh. In eighth place, which one two here? Billy Pedrick and Jesse Grady. Eighth place, 1483. Got you a check here for $310. Thank you, Thank you boys. Yes, Did a good job. We're proud of you. Seventh place, Scooter Lilly. Eric Galasco. 1498. That's almost 15 pounds. You know that, yeah, don't you? That would have made a big difference. Oh, I'm sure. Got you a check anyway for four hundred dollars. That's worth the trip, won't it? Thank you, boys. See you in a couple of weeks. All right. In sixth place, Will and Mike James. Got you a check here, boys, with fifteen thirty-nine for six hundred and twenty dollars. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you, boys. We appreciate you. In fifth place. Rayford Faircloth and Joe Smith had 1557. Got you a check here, boys, for $760 and got you a fifth place bragging rights. Let's hear it for them. It's a good catch. That's good for you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. All right. In fourth place, John Odom and Doug Looper. Fishing out of the bay boat. That's See, the right. boat don't matter, does it? That's right. 1674 was your weight. For fourth place today, I got them a check for $860. You like that? Yes, sir. And I got you bragging rights to go home and prove that you've been fishing. And thank you very much, boys. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Thank you, Dave. Uh -huh. In third place, come on. David and Hunter Jones at 1701. Got you a check here, boys, for nine hundred and sixty dollars. That ain't too bad, is it? 
and got you a third place bragging right. Congratulations to you boys, we appreciate it. In second place, again, I thought he was gonna win when since he had you with him, Brian. Brian Breesmeister and Brody Brown, 1890. One thing I can say about him, when he gets beat, he gets spanked. <laughs> you had a good day there, boys. 1890, got your check here for $1,360. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. And you're second place bragging right. Good job, boys. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you, man. Brody, we appreciate it very much. And today's champions, come on up here. Here they come. Justin Everett and Lance Murray. Boys, you've done it. This is what you wanted to do. So I reckon you quit now. Yes, sir. You just retire. <laughs> if you quit today, that's the way to quit. Just quit when you win. Quit on top. Yeah, quit on sir. top. I know you're not going to do that. Yes, sir. But these boys had a beautiful catch of fish. 2237 was their total weight. Got them a check here for $4,000. What do you think about yes, that? Sir. $4,000. Yes, sir. And I'm proud of you. Now I got this. I know you're going to lie to me, and I don't blame you. Just tell me what the strategy was. This well, yesterday we went pre-fishing, caught some fish in the river, and uh, so we went after that and uh, caught some fish on a crankbait and some plastics. Uh, caught some good ones late today. Late today? Yes, sir. When they got under the stuff? Yes, sir. When the sun got up good, we were catching pretty good. That's good. You've done a great job. You catch beautiful fish. You got first place bragging rights. Let's hear it for them. Good job, thank boys. You. Love you both. Yes, sir, thank you. I want to thank you for watching today. We've had a trying year so far, but we're coming around the best we can. And like I always say, these boys managed to catch them. I don't care if we took them to a mud hole, somebody would catch some. We're going to be back, our next show is going to be back on the Chowan. We had to make a schedule change because of the virus. We'll be back on the Chowan and we're going to wrap up the year on the Roanoke that should be interesting. Until next time, I'm Danny Joe Humphrey and I'll see you out on the water. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as we did bringing it to you. To view the rest of our shows, go to BoJanglesProam.com. To contact us for tournament information, call us at 252-527-0918 and we'll get the info out to you. Today's show is proudly brought to you by our fine sponsors, Bojangles, famous chicken and biscuits. It's bow time. The new sports shop, your outdoor sportsman headquarters. Shimano Fishing, Mercury Marine, number one on the water. And Triton Boats, we take America fishing. Tune in next week at the same time for another edition of the Bojangles Pro-Am Team Tournament Trail.